What's up guys, welcome to The Quarantine. I'm your host Wolf and today is just an update video for the channel. I do want to start off by saying that I have reached 300 subscribers, which is awesome. It's no big hurdle like a thousand or a million, but it is a step closer in the right direction. And I just wanted to let everybody know that subscribe that I certainly thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed uh, if you could click that subscribe button uh, it definitely keeps me motivated if not that's cool too. enjoy the show but again thanks thank you to every one of you guys that have subscribed to the channel and watched my videos I still get a little confused though when I get an email that shows that I've got a new subscriber because I'm still not used to that people actually watch my videos but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the meat of the channel Alright, so we'll go ahead and start out with video games. Uh, as a, some of you may know, you probably subscribed to my channel because I did video game reviews, and then I suddenly just kind of stopped doing that. Um, the reason for that is it's a million times easier to review a board game than it is a video game. With a board game, generally speaking, all I really have to do is, uh, like, Battle Lore, for example. If I get Battle Lore today, I can play it once or twice today, maybe once or twice tomorrow, and I feel like I've got a good enough handle on the game to be able to review it. Uh, three to five times, usually, I'll feel confident enough to actually review it, uh, at least competently. With the video game, the way I was doing it is, A, I was scripting my stuff, which as a lot of you may know, I don't script anything at all anymore. It's easier on me, I think it feels more natural, and I like the guy at the shop kind of feel. I just, I'm talking about the game and why I think it's cool or why I think it's terrible. So it's, it's easier for me and I just, I like the, the format a lot better. Um, with a video game, not counting the, the fact that I've always done them scripted and I haven't tried one non-scripted yet, um, the way I was doing it is I would play a game, I would wait until I beat it, then I would review it so I can give full information of like, yeah, the, the front the first part of the game was terrible, but then it gets amazing at the end, or vice versa, and oh, well, there's these irritating things near the end, and stuff like that. So the problem with that is I don't have the time that I used to anymore. You know, I got a job, I got a family, board games are taking my taking the channel further than video games were, so it's it's overall, it's just easier to do board games. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing video game reviews. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, moving forward in the next probably f month or so, I'm thinking about doing some random video game reviews and doing them in different formats. And the way I'm thinking about doing it is something like, and I hate to name drop, but like Blue Maxima or Total Biscuit or something, where I'll play the game for three to five hours, give or take, just enough to get a good feel for it. And then either while I'm recording or while I'm playing that, just do first impressions instead, or like while I'm playing that, narrate it or commentate it, or just record after that five hours, just record some gameplay footage and then talk over it like I used to, but of course unscripted, um, more like the guy at the shop. So I'm probably going to do random videos in just different formats and then see what you guys think. Um, because I don't want to not do video game reviews, because I still play a lot of video games. I just don't beat them anymore, and I know that's terrible. For example, Odin Sphere. I beat the hell out of the Valkyrie storyline. I loved it. That I, I could not stop playing but, uh, Odin Sphere on the Vita. Then I got to the, I think it's the Poka Knight or whatever, the, the, the next guy that comes after her. I hate him. I don't like the way he plays. I like nothing about him. Doesn't mean the game's bad, by any means. I like, don't take that as, oh, the game's terrible. I just, me personally, I do not like the way he plays. And I just, I can't bring myself to want to play it anymore. So, unfortunately, and I don't want to, but unfortunately, I may never beat Odin Sphere. I would love to still review it, but with the way I was doing them, I don't know, I just, it would feel weird that, oh, yeah, the game's fantastic, but I've only played one character. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I'm going to, I'll figure it out. Um, but I just want to let uh, you guys know if there's any of you guys that are subscribed for video game reasons, because my highest viewed videos are actually video game reviews, um, that I haven't forgot about them, I just don't know how I'm going to go forward with them. So, there's that taken care of. 
next, I'm thinking about reviewing Pokemon Go, but what I'm probably going to do if I do it, because I uh, like probably a lot of you guys, Pokemon Go has been eating up the remaining bit of free time that I have. The reason I'm not out right now is because I'm recording this video and I kind of want to try to get some Overwatch in because I haven't played in like a week other than yesterday. I played for a couple hours. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing with Pokemon Go is, as a lot of you guys know, that's probably going to be kind of a difficult game to actually review. So I'm probably just going to take the camera, and I'm just going to go downtown where all the Pokestops are, and just walk around with the camera facing me, and just talk about the game like I am now, or like I normally would with a board game or a video game, well, like I'm going to try to do with the video game anyways, and do it that way. And then just have some clips of just some of the wild stuff that happens downtown at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, like we found a woman in a tree, which I won't get into that, but it was really weird. Uh, nothing bad, like she wasn't dead, she just decided she was going to climb a tree. A grown woman, she was like in her late 20s. But either way, it was pretty funny, uh, and we've had some really cool experiences and a lot of fun stuff. So we, I was thinking about doing that to record Pokemon Go. So, um, as for video game reviews, kind of bouncing back to that, um, with the Vita... I really want to do more Vita reviews, and unfortunately, again, without me having the capture card, as I've mentioned before, um, I haven't tried it with my new camera. Basically, I was just going to have it aim straight down at the camera and me, or at the Vita, and me just kind of sitting still and playing, and then flip it around and upside down so it actually shows proper, and then do a review that way, because this camera is better than the crappy webcam that I was using. Uh, and I don't have to, like, contort myself like this to get it to work like I was. Um, so I'm going to try to get more Vita reviews out, maybe, if I do that in the format. Uh, like I mentioned in my last update, I had the Senran Kagura review all made up and everything, and something happened to it, and I don't know what it was, and I just never got motivated to go back and review it. It's a fantastic game if you're watching this and you're wondering. Buy it, it's awesome if you love the first one. Or uh, Shinobi Versus, you'll love Estival Versus. It's a fantastic game. But, um, anywho, moving swiftly along. Because I don't want this to turn into a tangent. I've recorded this like nine times and I keep screwing dumb stuff up. And now I'm just, this is going to be it. Whatever I mess up is just going to stay in because I don't care. Um, but anyways, last but not least, I think, um, Kingdom Death. I've mentioned numerous times and as you can see, probably up here, let's... I uh, got all my King a lot of my Kingdom Death minis up there. Um, I still plan on doing that solo game through, but it may not be a solo game. Currently, I'm playing through a game with two other with uh, my brother and one friend, soon to be one of his friends coming as well. So we'll have four. We've only played two or three Lantern years so far. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is when our campaign dies, which inev inevitably probably will. Um, because we're using every single expansion because we hate ourselves. Um, we're probably going to, when it dies, we're probably going to go ahead and reset. And either one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to find two other people that are willing to come over here like every day for like a week. And we will just play the entirety of a campaign within a week. Just all day, every day until the campaign dies. And I'll record it all. And then release like one lantern year a week and have it cropped up nicely and whatnot. I, I have some ideas to make it look really good, hopefully. Anyways, in my head it looks really good. Uh, and that way I, I'll start a little series at that, and if that's real popular, I'll start doing more Kingdom Death series like that. Um, but, so that's the plan with that. Or, it's just going to be me and my brother. Um, and we'll be playing that way, and each controlling two characters. Um, when I do that, there's those ums. I'm. I think um is my favorite word. I use that air them everywhere. So if they, those annoy you, sorry. They're just some I do. But anyways, I digress. Um, the Kingdom Death ga uh, game the way I plan on doing it is probably going to do something similar to like uh, I cannot remember Will Wheaton show Tabletop. There we go. Where I'll probably start the series, but rather than explain the rules. Um, I might briefly touch on them in the first one, I guess. Maybe you have a video explaining how the game plays, and then the series starts. I don't know. But um, it'll probably wind up being where we start out just playing, and then like it fast-forwards, and then cuts to little funny spots throughout it and whatnot. That way you still see how the game plays, and then it cuts to the gameplay, and da-da-da. Uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. 
because one session of Kingdom Death, one Lantern Year, generally takes like two, two and a half hours, and I want to crunch that down to 30 minutes, give or take, because, I don't know, 30 minutes I think is a good time to to watch a good video size, I guess you can say. Uh, anyways, this video is going on for, what, 12 minutes now, uh, as a simple update, so, and I think bef a little bit before that is me ranting and then having to re-record, so, who knows, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I have a few review games that should, or may, be coming in. I have a couple Kickstarters that are coming in as well, like I think uh, the others, Seven Sins is coming in. This weekend, uh, Scythe is coming in, um, and I'm wanting to say there's like one or two other review, like early review copies that I might be getting, so if you're here for board game reviews, there is all of this that I need to do eventually review, and then, like, this is my, uh, I have nothing, nothing new came in, I'll just grab Spartacus or something, good game, but, uh, so there's that. Anyways, this I'm going on a tangent and rant now, so I'll just go ahead and cut this off. If you like the show, give me a like, comment, subscribe. Again, thank you guys who have already been subscribed and have stuck with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, anyways, uh, if you like the show as well, check me out on Patreon. I'll have a link down here and probably in the... It's over here. In the little eye that shows up over here, I'll have a link to my Patreon. Uh, if you want to support the show, that definitely motivates me. It gives me a little more freedom to breathe, I guess you can say. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine.